Hey guys, um, it's been a while and today I am, well the last couple of days I've been prepping because I am actually flying to Melbourne to go to see a photographer who I've worked with before, who I love, um, who was meant to come to Sydney but um, I decided that I'd go meet him in Melbourne and I'm going to do a photo shoot for my auditions. Um, yeah, and I also haven't done a photo shoot since maybe like f for like four years. Even though I want to get the photos done for auditions, of course, I also want to just get them done for me because I feel like I've changed. I'm just excited to get photos done with a photographer who I love. Um, so yeah, honestly, I have been meaning to make a video for ages. You know, just life gets busy. Like I've just been training and working a lot and just trying to save up some money so I have the option to go overseas if I can or like to do things like this photo shoot and stuff that are going to help me towards my ballet goal um so you know I actually went shopping for the first time yesterday well leotard shopping I haven't been leotard shopping in maybe not a problem like four years or something just because I did always have quite a lot of leotards when I was younger and then I just sort of would always wear those ones. I'm not a huge like fancy leotard person, I just wear what's comfortable so that's always been me. And then when I like go to see, to buy them or like look at them, they're like just so expensive now um, compared to when I used to get them so it's always like a fine balance like do I really need this? At this price, you know, dance stuff is not cheap and when I have to way up between buying point shoes and like what, buying new leotards you know the point shoes is always going to come first because it's something that I simply need. For this photo shoot I just got a bunch of ideas I'm going to take a bunch of different outfits and we're going to smash it out and just be creative with it and everything um, but I'll show you the ones I got. So the first one I got is this really 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 pretty like this is really pretty I don't know if you can really see because the lighting's bad but it's like a boat neck high neck leotard and then at the back there's a really low back which I love but then there's like these velvet velvet detailing anyway I just really liked it I'm in love with the color it's like a wine kind of color so I'm very obsessed with that one I'm very excited to wear it and yeah this one I got was is Repetto leotard and like I don't know if you can see but it's got like mesh sleeves and like kind of a high neck but then the back has got like this cool v with the same mesh and i just really loved it on it's just very pretty very elegant this last one is like something i would never normally get unless i was doing like a solo or something that needed a costume or but i got this <laughs> i got this amal dialy tard and it's like got this really funky print if you're about it it's like it's got this mesh and then like a high neck collar thing and it just looks really cool like it's pretty extreme but like for a photo shoot it's very cool yeah so those are the three that i got um and then yeah i've just got to pack some things like my makeup and then my hair stuff and then i'm basically done um yeah so I had to get up bright and early at like 5 15 um my flight was around eight o'clock so we drove to the airport and it was raining because it's been raining here in Sydney for like three weeks. It's been crazy. Anyway, I got to the airport. It was really chill. I actually miss being in the airport so much. I don't know what it is about airports. It just makes me so excited. Then I was ready to board my flight and I knew that I didn't have that much time when I got to Melbourne to like get ready. So I just started doing my makeup before I even got on the flight. Had a really nice quick flight. And then like in no time I was in Melbourne, I swear I just like blinked and I was there. And I was ready to make my way to the studio where I was going to meet up with um, the photographer I was working with. I've known this photographer for ages, I worked with him a couple of years ago, his name's Eric and I love him, I love his work. And I'll link his Instagram um, in this video. But he is just honestly so fun to work with so I was so excited to be able to see him and like go meet him. And also to be able to travel. It was really just cool to be like in the airport and traveling again. It's been nearly two years. And
Then when I arrived, it was around 11 o'clock. I'd had a busy morning already, but I was ready to start getting ready for the shoot and setting up, putting on my point shoes. This was like the dressing room. And just for most of the day, we were experimenting with different shots, different looks, uh, different poses, just for some portfolio work. And it's honest, honestly so fun and just like the best experience ever. And then like in no time, I was making my way back to the airport. It was crazy. Like this was maybe six o'clock in the afternoon because I had a flight later that night. Um, I decided that I wouldn't stay over even though I would really have loved to stay longer. I had work the next day, so I had to come back. But honestly, it's really easy to get to Melbourne from Sydney. So to get the flight back, it was super easy. Um, very kind of draining though at this point I was very tired but I was enjoying the nice sunset and like when I got back on the plane it was really beautiful there was like the sunset and I just like fell asleep I think on the plane but it was really pretty and I had a lot of fun even though I spent like less than 24 hours in Melbourne I had a lot of fun I love working with Eric and it was such a good experience um, so I hope you enjoyed this really quick travel vlog and i hope to bring you more content soon i love you all and i will see you later bye